Hey there, Arconiacs. We are currently more than halfway through the season of Only Murders in the Building, and I wanted to share my prediction on who might meet their demise at the end of the season. Please know that these predictions are purely speculative as the identity of the victim at end of season one was a surprise, and we didn't meet the victim of season two until episode 10. With that in mind, here are four potential victims that I believe that could be at risk at the end of this season if we've already been introduced to them. First, Donna and Loretta. They seem to be closely connected. Both are mothers who deeply care about their children. The theme of family and motherhood has been prominent this season, and they could have similar motives such as wanting to protect their sons. Additionally, both Donna and Loretta have been seen wearing clothing that appears to reference lighthouses. Loretta wear a red and white outfit with yellow sunglasses during the table read, mirroring the lighthouse in the background. Donna, on the other hand, wore a black and white outfit at the Arconia resembling the light on the Death Rattle poster. Lighthouses symbolize strength and safety, qualities often associated with motherhood or a mother figure. It would be somewhat poetic for either Donna or Loretta to meet their demise, considering that the mother of the play dies at a lighthouse. However, one factor going against Donna is that I feel that next season will not heavily revolve around the theater. As for Loretta, her relationship with Oliver is unlikely to last, and I believe that Meryl Streep becoming a regular cast member would be great, but her character secrets that she hid away from Oliver and dreams of acting might lead her pursue her own path after the events of the current season. My last two predictions tie into the same possible event. Taubert would be a suitable candidate to die at the end of the season. This is partially due to my personal dislikes of this character, but also because Mabel and Taubert seem to have a connection and understanding of one another. Their conversation at the restaurant about lacking someone to ground them, along with the shots of Mabel in a wedding dress in the trailer, give me the impression of a potential end-of-show moment possibly set in the future, after they've matured as a couple off-screen, and then get married. Also, to resolve Mabel's living situation, I believe the trio will be bought by Cindy Canning after they solve the murder of the famous actor Ben Glenroy. This could potentially allow Mabel to afford a place in the Arconia, maybe even the penthouse. In episode 4, The White Room, while Mabel is looking at apartments, she mentions that she is not one to host parties. Initially, I thought this might be a reference to the Son of Sam game in Season 2. However, I quickly realized that most of the deaths in the show occur during or around celebrations. Most recently, Ben Glenroy dies just after or possibly during the open night party for Death Rattle. Bunny also dies while the trio is celebrating figuring out who killed Tim Kono. Although Tim's death did not occur during a party, Jan did mention pouring two old fashions as a gesture to celebrate their time together. Even the death of Zoe, whose death took years before the show's events, happened at a New Year's Eve party. If Mabel does indeed get married, I could envision her holding the wedding reception in the penthouse, considering that many of her acquaintances and friends reside in the building. If someone was to die at the party, perhaps her new husband Tolbert, or maybe Theo, it would reaffirm Mabel's dislike for the parties and shift the focus of the next story within the Arconia. I've missed the building and the beloved characters that we know that reside in it, and it would also be an opportunity to explore previous unknown secret passageways in the penthouse created by Archibald Carter that was not accessible before, due to limited access of the room. However, what makes me doubt this possibility is Mabel herself. In each season, she has experienced troubling conclusions to her romantic relationships, and I sincerely hope that this pattern does not continue. I strongly believe that Mabel deserves some peace. Come on, John Hoffman, give my girl some peace, or we're fighting. But if not Tobert, who else? I still believe that the incident could occur at the wedding reception or directly thereafter. 
as I hope to see more of the Arconi residents and staff, I think that it must be someone we have already met, a reoccurring guest whose death would be tragic. I believe that potential victim in this scenario could be Lester, an individual who has long been associated with the Arconia, having served there for a significant period of time, longer than most of us have been alive. Lester is highly regarded and cherished by the trio, and they would undoubtedly be eager to unravel the circumstances surrounding his unfortunate demise. It is important, though these are my ideas, I have to acknowledge there is a very strong case that we have not met the next victim yet. If that's not the case and we have met them, I'm curious to learn who you believe may fall prey to an unknown predator at the end of the season. Please share your thoughts down below. I appreciate you all for tuning in to Screen Favorites. My name is Dallas, and I'll catch you on the rooftop.